Okay, we are running here version 1.8 of the firmware with TSR on. So far it's good. Coming up to three minutes, and so far, no alerts. Okay, we're at four minutes. There, you got one. K band. Yeah, we're getting K the K-A false here. Interestingly enough, 33674. Interesting. That's when I see those 24 244s. K424. Interesting. I think those higher frequencies are. Well, we have a second one. Interesting. Okay, band. Those higher frequencies are GMC type systems. I tend to see those higher numbers, 244, being reported with some Chevy products. Okay, there we are.
Here's a uh, version 1.11 with TSR on. Now with the version 1.8 We had two alerts with TSR on. That's a reduction down from six or five down to two of about 20 seconds of duration each. So this is version 1.1. seconds of duration. Second alert, about uh, halfway through. At nine seconds, give or take. Alert duration. Third alert, at 11 seconds, now we got a fourth alert. Used to be about 10 seconds of duration. Fifth alert. Okay. 
Okay. It's interesting. I think it's safe to say that it does seem with TSR on with version 1.1, 1 .1, the frequency and uh, the alerts go up and the choppiness uh, go up. Whereas with TSR on with version 1.8 or previous versions of software, it has been a reduction overall. So I think it's safe to say if you're interested in collision avoidance systems and filtering, uh, you're, you're probably better off running uh, with TSR off on these newer firmwares. Of course, uh, People have their experiences and they drive around and come to your own conclusion. But based on these tests that I've conducted, I, that's how I would recommend to uh, actually leave TSR off. So thanks for watching. We'll have the article up uh, to accompany this video, and I hope you found it in very informative. And again, my hat's off to Escort for uh, continuing to develop their uh, products. Fascinating.